Let's talk about paid search. I might maybe need to see a conference 15, 20, 25 times before I decide to yeah. go to it, mm -hmm. right? So retargeting is a big part of this. Absolutely. Is it more Google AdWords, YouTube, Google Network, or is it more Facebook or both? Um, I think it's a little bit of both, but at the end of the day, it depends on your target demographic. All right. If you have a, somewhat of a younger target demographic, social is definitely going to outweigh PPC. If they're slightly older, yeah, they these no, those individuals are a little bit more inclined to see a banner ad, uh, you know, a retargeting display ad on, on another website and potentially go to it. But again, it really depends on who your desired target demo is and um, and where they're at, you know, what, what channels they're, they're frequently on, what platforms they're frequently using to make that decision. Got it. So we have a couple of clients who manage and organize conferences. And one of the biggest challenges is actually getting new people to attend to these conferences. And one of the things that we're seeing that's a, um, that's a significant improvement point is that they want somebody to see the ad and they want them to sign up for the event. And it's not going to work like that. That's why we are suggesting that retargeting is going to be a big part of this. So if you're already pulling in 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 people to the site through, let's say, Google search, through Facebook, through AdWords, you're going to have to make sure that you have a nurture funnel because from the first time that they see that all the way to the third time or the fourth time or the fifth time, it is going to take time for them to make that decision to actually go ahead, apply and sign up for that event and pay yeah. for that event. Yeah. So they have to have their or you have to have their internal nurture funnel. Do most of our clients have this, Joe? I wouldn't say most, mm -hmm. um, but we definitely are, are heading to that 100% mark. We're getting all of them the proper nurture funnels in place, mm -hmm. at least the ones that have the budget to build it out. That's what you want, that's what you need, but unfortunately not everybody has that in place. Yeah, so you don't want to scale your ad spend or you don't want to scale your conference or trade show without having a nurture funnel in place and that's very, very important. So we talked about content marketing, we talked about paid search with Facebook and Google AdWords, we talked mm -hmm. about retargeting. Let's say I did all of that. What other options do I have in terms of targeting a conference or a trade show or a local event? So uh, another another form would be uh, relationship building, right? Um, establishing relationships with individuals or, or corporations or, or communities that are, are similar with the you know attendee list that you that you're looking for. So for example, if I'm going to be hosting a niche conference and let's say it's for doctors. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that I'm actively trying to establish relationships with doctors in the local community, with uh, a, a possible um, any organization, yeah, an organization that that consists of doctors. Hit hit um, up the LinkedIn groups yeah, of doctors. Yeah, whatever the case may be. I'm sure there's some Facebook groups hit as up well. Other conferences. This is very yeah. important. Build relationships with other conferences that currently manage any kind of relationship with doctors or doctor mm -hmm. groups. Go build relationships with pharmaceutical companies because they have a lot of access to doctors. Yep. So anything that where you could put your yeah. message and conference in front of other people, sponsor other conferences where you want to steal attendees from. Mm -hmm. These Absolutely. are all unique ideas yeah. that... And it all comes down to just establishing a strategic partnership. So like you said, it could be with another non-competing conference. However, with somewhat of a similar target demographic yeah. just exchange some sponsorships i'm going to promote at yours you can promote at mine right. um you know so definitely that's another way that you can go another route you should take and to be honest i think all three of these uh relationship building strategic partnerships you know one in the same as well as uh content marketing and seo and uh and ppc all these things should be run in parallel with one another. Got it. So most of this has to do with content. The last thing that we would suggest, and we consult on this with multiple clients, is that you record and you write down every single talk that you have, every single session, because this is all content again, and you can reuse that content for different purposes. This is one of the most important things. We advise and consult different conferences and different events. They don't record it. They don't have videos. They don't even sometimes take pictures in the yeah. events. It's it's shocking to us. But every single content that you can grab is yeah. going to be very valuable for you later down the road when you actually want to scale your marketing yeah. efforts. And, and then just one last thing I want to mention, because we forgot to mention it, I think it's extremely important, especially for events, is PR. Yeah, you, you need uh, you need to you, do online yeah, PR. Absolutely. Yeah. You need absolutely. to be mentioned in different magazines. You need crucial. to be on Inc. 
you need to be on Forbes and we create specific uh, packages for our clients for this as well. You Maybe you need to be on Harvard, maybe you need to be on Yale, yeah. of maybe course, you need yeah, to be on yeah. the Fortune magazine. It all, it all depends on, again, your target demographic and the, and the type of conference or event you're hosting. Yeah, yeah. And very important, last, last thing, your value proposition. Your content needs to be really, really good and your value proposition needs to be communicated directly. We'll talk to you guys next week.